Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. Wow, yes, yes. I think you're tired and you're saying I'm doing what's best for me and I don't really care at this point. Or I heard I can't afford to care how it looks. So you might be saying, yeah, I've got to invest in myself, in my health, my well-being, maybe work, my home, um, fitness, whatever it is. And if it, <clears throat> excuse me, if it looks like I'm checking out of this connection, then fair enough. I mean, I'm not, but I've got to, I'm exhausted. You know, I've got to focus on me. I've got to get things um, in order. Yeah, and it's a head over heart decision. You can see we have this King of Swords in the middle of this spread. But the thing is, you know, you haven't shut the door. Like I was saying, you still have hope. You still feel drawn to this person. Something shocking may have happened to make you realize it's time now to, you know, you've given a lot, you've given enough. It's time to go within, to see what needs fixing and to focus your attention on some other areas within your life. Or not, you know, not just what needs fixing, but what you'd like to focus your energy your effort your attention towards okay so you know i'm seeing this so clearly it's one very strong message and we saw it right at the start with the empress and the world so with the empress it doesn't matter if you're you know a man a woman watching this it's the energy it's someone who really has stepped into their power they are abundant they understand that you know um What's appropriate is that if you put the work into something, if you give proper attention, attention, dedication to something, you get the rewards. Not that you give and you give and you give until you can't anymore and then you're lying down exhausted and no one cares, you know? So you're saying, okay, I have to make a decision to put myself first and I've got to turn away from this connection for now. Even if I don't necessarily want to because in my heart space, I feel guided towards you, you know, my person, but I need to take care of things and I'm going to, and I'm doing an amazing job of, of doing this because I know my personal power, I know my strength, I know my capabilities. Um, yeah, I mean, you're saying, look, we've reached the end of this cycle. It, to be honest, it's been exhausting and um, there's been something here that's been heavy. And maybe some of you have realized that in some ways, it's a choice to carry this heaviness, you know, I mean, if you're trying to push this connection forward and your person isn't ready or they're not being responsive for whatever reason, that's a burden, isn't it? That's very heavy. And it's like you're saying, well, I'm choosing to take what feels good within this connection and to hold on to this even if it's the 5D connection at the moment, even if it's my faith that in the future we will come together into alignment, I'm taking that and uh, I'll keep that with me, but that's it. I'm not taking anything heavy. I'm not forcing anything. And beyond that, I'm just going to go in my own direction and concentrate on the things I can grow at this time. Now, this seven of swords to me doesn't feel deceptive or like lies or anything like that. This is to me, the energy of someone saying, I have to do what's best for me, even if you, my person, even if you feel that what I'm doing isn't great or that I'm not giving you as much attention as I used to, you know, I've given you a lot and I've not really got too much back. Um, and, you know, there's, there's no sort of, I feel you're moving forward with a light heart, much lighter than you've had for a long time because of this resolve, because of this decision. You know, I love this King of Swords in the middle. He's seeing everything very clearly. In terms of signs, we have Aquarius, Gemini and Scorpio energy in particular here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your person then. Have they noticed this shift in your energy? Is their energy reflecting yours? Let's see. Okay, so Spirit, can you show us what is going on with the person that my viewer is here for? What are they thinking, feeling this week about this connection? How is this person thinking and feeling this week, please, about this connection? I already feel that you're possibly um, in higher spirits than your person. I think they might be struggling a little more than you are at this time. Maybe you know this, maybe they've got something going on and that's why you've sort of said, okay, this is nothing to do with me and I can't do anything to help. So I'm going to do my own thing while you deal with this, this tower. 
okay what's going on with this person the person's being a bit quiet it's like they don't want to to talk really to reveal what's going on yeah we've got the seven of wands some of them may have literally blocked you if it's if we're talking about social media um i'm actually <laughs> getting a weird image in my head of someone like blocking a letterbox you know so you can't put anything through so they're kind of trying to possibly block any form of communication but this can also be them pushing you away blocking them blocking you from their heart space and if this is the case what I'm picking up is that this person is struggling, they've got things going on behind the scenes, not to do with you, and they're, they're not feeling as strong as you, and it's like they're saying, I don't want you to know about what's going on, I don't want you to see me when I feel weak, you know. Um, so this isn't so much about saying they don't want to talk to you, but you're doing quite well, I feel, and it's not by chance, it's not by coincidence, you've had to make this happen. You know, this is coming from your own strength, inner strength. Your person... Yeah, they might be trying to tap into their inner strength, but um, there seems to be something going on, something heavy, something that's making them push the outside world away. We've got the Four of Wands, okay. So yeah, some of them could be sort of hiding, retreating, being, um, you know, staying at home as much as possible, not really going out, seeing anybody. We have the Eight of Swords. So yes, this is, this is a definitely not as much of a... Um, high vibrational energy here. We have the devil in the reverse. We have the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, I don't think there's too much communication between you both at the moment. You know, even if you're in a full-blown relationship, I feel that, that they've pulled away, they've gone within. There's a feeling of emotional distance between you. I just got an image of a spider in my mind as well, so um, that could be to do with writing something. And again, seeing that letterbox image, maybe they want to write you a letter or their journaling or something like that. We've got the uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so they're moving at a much slower pace than you. Um, let's put this over here. Okay. So yes, your person senses the energy shift that's going on. Maybe you've even told them, you know, if that's the sort of connection that you have at this time that you are stepping away from this, you need a break or something like that. If not, they can just see, you know, from, from the amount of effort you're putting in or not, maybe how you're responding to them. Um, you know, just there's just the general sense of how you're behaving in relation to them. They can see there's been a shift. This makes them feel a bit burdened, a bit heavy. If you're, I kind of feel that they want to pursue you, they want to come after you, but there's something really heavy going on that's not allowing them the room, the time, the space to do this. And it's to do with a pre-existing foundation that I think isn't good for them. It looks extremely low vibrational with the devil here. And it's like they're half in, half out. They've woken up like you have. You've woken up to your own things. Your person has woken up to a situation they're in, whatever this situation is, that's not for their highest and best good. Now, I feel that you, the viewer, you've known this for, for a long time. Your person has woken up, woken up to it more recently. So mentally emotionally they're aware of this but in a practical sense this is still something they're committed to and this is it's weighing so heavy on them i mean do you see this is what i mean at the center of your spread you've got the king of swords you're clear you're rational you've moved through things like um confusion resentment anger you know sometimes the queen of swords can be a little bit bitter not the king of swords he's he's very balanced and he he's not stressed because he knows he has the ability to fix anything that comes up he's not going to be phased so you can't sort of ruffle his feathers your person has the devil in the center of their spread i mean yes it's reversed this is because they now see this this situation for what it is but they're not completely free of this they have this sort of limited perspective that's that's showing them that, you know, 
they can't make any moves they're they're kind of trapped here they're stuck here for whatever reason and it's like while they feel that you are walking away the seven of pentacles in reverse you're not giving anything more it's like they're saying i want to follow you but i can't i'm blindfolded my hands are tied behind my back i'm stuck here in this established toxic situation okay so we have the five of pentacles in reverse so they could be it could be something to do with a job or it could be um like a home situation a family situation that they can't leave because financially they're dependent on this other person or this other person is dependent on them the eight of wands in reverse this is what i was saying they do actually want to speak to you but they're holding back and they're preventing you from reaching out to them why because well Let's say you have a casual conversation and you say, you know, how are things? How's this? How's that? How's work? I mean, what, without lying to you, what are they going to say? You know, it's dreadful. I don't have enough money. I, I or so-and-so um, won't let me go because I pay all of the bills or, um, you know, <laughs> they're not going to say, I can see that you're flourishing and it's amazing and I feel so terrible. You know, I'm happy for you, but I wish I had more money. They don't want to appear this way. They want you to think well of them. Um, now, it's not that you would judge them for this, but they're judging themselves. So they actually want to speak to you, but they're pushing you away. Okay, and we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Um, for some of them, they're being triggered right now. What they're going through is a reflection of... of how they value themselves. If they've had low self-esteem since childhood, your person may have repeated the same patterns over and over and over and over. And it's almost like now this behavior, this repeated cycle is culminating in this particularly horrible experience. Um, so this could be to do with a life lesson. It's certainly to do with them finding their inner self-worth and strength. And, and they're going to have to fight their way out of this. I don't think there's going to be an easy way. Um, Mm. there's a lot actually to say about this six of cups card that i'm feeling so okay so let's say your person hasn't really felt good enough throughout their life or they've thought you know in terms of 10 being i'm worth so much and five being something and one being nothing let's say they've settled at five and they've gone through life attracting these experiences, connections, friendships, relationships that reflect back to them that on this scale of one to ten there are five and they deserve fives across the board in terms of their experiences. You've come along, this connection has come along and shown them you deserve a ten. You know, and at first they pushed you away, they pushed this away because it was completely out of alignment with this mental belief that they are at a five um they may not have trusted this they may have thought it was too good to be true they may not even have been able to see the value um because it was just so much higher in vibration so far out of reach well over time they're starting to to think or they have started to think maybe maybe i do deserve this maybe i deserve more maybe i'm settling so why this is so awful now when they've probably had similar experiences in the past is because now they're awakened because of this connection. So now emotionally, internally, they might be heading towards a 10, but they're still in a situation that's a five. Again, whether it's work with colleagues that work them to death or a boss that doesn't appreciate them, whether it's parents, whether it's a karmic, you know, whatever this is. Internally, as I was saying, your person understands this isn't enough anymore. It's not in alignment with who I am. So now they've got to make their 3D external reality reflect that. And you understand, I can't do that for them. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I just heard that some of you are even thinking, as you're working on yourselves, I'm going to, you know, you're, you're doing this so you're in the best position that you can possibly be to move forward with your person in the future. So whether it's in terms of getting your finances good, finding the right home or whatever it is, that's not for all of you. Some of you are just purely working on yourselves. Some of you are though, you know, you do have your person in mind, you're letting them learn their lessons, but you're saying, well, when you're ready, I'm gonna make sure that, that I'm ready as well. Wow, so that's what's going on. You are in a, in a, a much more peaceful place actually than your person but this is only because you have been here and you fought your way through so now your person is following um in your footsteps and with the knight of pentacles they are making progress it's slower 
in truth than both of you would like but the knight of pentacles really is the most mature knight he's the only one to me that knows he's going to be a king of pentacles so he has to make wise investments he has to make good decisions and he's not rash like the knight of wands or the knight of swords and he's not dream you know daydreamy like um the knight of cups he's serious he takes a step, it's a solid step. He takes another step. He doesn't take a step and take a step back and, you know, mess about. So it's a little bit slow, but forward progress is, um, it's tangible and it's something you can rely on. Wow, okay. So what we'll do is let's have a look let's pull from this deck so if you um this is the twin flame soulmates deck and if you like this and you want to get yourself um, a deck the link is below and um, also a discount code as well but let's see so i want to see where you are on your journey what the message is to you from spirit and where your person is so let's see okay so can we get a message please for my viewers my subscribers yes this is what i'm saying spiritual warrior you have done it you fought your way through you've been here and you you know you really did it you really fought your way through if you think right back to the start of this reading we had the empress and the world you know you've come out on top you've done it you know your worth abundance is coming to you if it hasn't begun coming to you already and now because of this you didn't give up, you know, you don't have to repeat this kind of an energy, this kind of cycle, and your person is following you. Maybe they're even inspired by you in a way you don't realise. Okay, so let's see what it says. A full, <clears throat> excuse me, a full light being can awaken a room full of people without a single word. They are gifted healers, way showers, grid liners, and teachers. Mm, yes, you know what you are deep inside, but it's hard work. Spirit is asking you not to give up yet. Pick that, pick that sword back up. You are not finished. To be honest, I, I sort of feel like you are finished. <laughs> You're finished with a particular um, cycle that you've been on. You know, your whole journey isn't finished. We're always evolving as we go through life. But honestly, you have, um, you've been through something here and you've come out on the other side. And now it's all about receiving abundance and just peace and just, you know, so much well-deserved wish fulfillment, happiness amazing okay so let's see what's going on with your person this week can we get a message please for my viewers person cord cutting this is the thing your person's got to cut these cords that aren't serving them energy cords are created between people through healthy and unhealthy attachments i mean the devil come on that's the most unhealthy attachment you could have Clearing away cords on a regular basis will prevent you from giving your power away to others. Yes, that's what I was saying. Your person's on this mission right now to find their own inner strength, their personal power. So for the energy around your person, we've got Capricorn. Um, that's it in particular. Um, okay, so those cards make a lot of sense with the reading. Oh, sorry, that was very loud. A little bit too enthusiastic huh? <laughs> let's get a couple of these as well and then we'll finish up with a spell card that i know some of you like and some of you don't um so if you don't like it just skip it okay so can we get a couple of messages please for my viewers what more can you add spirit what more would you like to share cactus a prickly situation yes i mean that is what your person is in you know, and they recognise it's difficult with the Eight of Swords. But the Eight of Swords is not impossible. It's really perspective. If you change your perspective, you start finding solutions. So that's where your person is heading. But right now, it's a little bit difficult for them. Okay, any other messages, please? Any other messages? seem like it does it ah okay flax skills crafts yeah and i feel this is what you're doing working on your skills um you know crafting something new perhaps or um i'm hearing fine fine tailoring so maybe you're um 
whatever you're doing, you might be fine tuning it. Um, fine tailoring, maybe you're getting some nice clothes, <laughs> I don't know. But fine tuning something here um, while your person deals with this uh, prickly situation. Mm. Yeah, okay, good. So let's get uh, one of the spell slash manifesting cards for you. If you are leaving us here, thank you for watching. If you would like to listen to my free meditations or join the Facebook group or book a reading with me, all of those links are in the, the description box. Um, if you would do the one question, one card reading in a moment, if you want to leave a question down below, um, to be entered into the draw for Wednesday's reading, please do just leave it in the comments. Um, and I think that's it. So let's get one of these. What's the best message, please, for my viewers to help them with moving forward with their manifestations at this time? It's too many. Just one card, please. Ooh, white light of love. That's very appropriate as you're in this kind of teaching, um, leading energy here. And it's not to say, I'm not saying it's ever anybody's responsibility to heal or lead others. But to be honest, I just think it's happening anyway, unconsciously. You know, your energy, your vibration, your attitude towards things, it's inspiring other people, including your person. Okay, so this is a moon spell. To light the flower of love in your heart... Timeless charm for the waning of a new moon. Place a green candle beside a white lily, rose or freesia. White flowers have the greatest perfume and any of these beauties will impart a pleasing aura to your home. I like to float a gardenia in a clear bowl of fresh water, truly the essence of the divine. Light the candle and hold the flower close to your heart. Pray. Steer me to the highest light, guide me to beauty and truth. Much have I to give, much have I to live, bright blessings to one and all. So this doesn't even seem to be um, specifically about, um, you know, one particular person or one particular thing, but it's really about being in this vibration of sort of pure, um, you know, divine light and love here. So you can adapt to this, you can use it directly, not use it at all. Let me try and get it to focus. I know someone... I'm sorry, I cannot remember who said to put something in the background. Um, I don't have anything right now. Maybe I can... That's not going to help at all, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, my God. Wow, amazing. Yes, perfect. So there you go. Um, okay, so, yes, I'll leave it here. Let's go into the one question, one card reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope it gave you some answers you were looking for, maybe, or some clarity or confirmation. Um, and I will see you on Wednesday if you're not sticking around, but otherwise, um, let's move forward. Okay, so thank you for your question, Tammy. Let's have a look and see. So, Spirit, is Tammy's person really her twin flame or is she going crazy? What can you tell us? Is this person really her twin? Okay, we have the sun on the back. That is twin flame energy, but let's see. Let's get a card. So, what can you tell us, please? One card, please. Is this person really her twin? That's not helpful. Let me get another. <laughs> well, there's definitely some communication that needs to happen. So if you're wondering, are you crazy for thinking that there's a connection here? Are you crazy for feeling that there's more to be said? Um, no, you're not. So let's see. Can you tell us, is this person her twin? Okay, spirit is being a little bit vague. So like I said, we did have the sun. The sun is, it can be a card about twin flames, but... Also, the sun is about bringing things to light. So what Spirit is, is saying, first and foremost, is that there's definitely something here. Um, you're right to feel that, that 
there's some confusion going on which might be making you feel like you're going a bit crazy possibly um so i would say there's a connection here possibly a twin flame connection but if possible as much as you can and i know it's not one-sided you know um, but as much as you can try to to get some really open clear um communication going and if that's not possible you know if your person's being a bit reticent or for some reason you can't communicate at this time i would say try to do whatever you can to remain as grounded as possible because um you're not crazy there's definitely something here but i feel until you can get communication that's going back and forth that helps you to kind of understand where you're at and what this connection is it might feel a bit ungrounding and confusing um I just heard dreams, so maybe before you go to sleep, set the intention with your higher self to deliver you some kind of clarity or answers or messages through your dreams. And what I would say is if they're not clear immediately, you can, you know, repeat your question um, several nights in a row and every morning just write down what comes through and over time it might start to make sense or you might start to realise, you know, where you're being guided, which direction you're being guided in. So... Spirit doesn't want to say yes or no at this time, really, but what you are getting is the fact that, you know, confirmation that there is something here and communication that's that's equal, that's flowing both ways will help. But like I said, you can't force someone to communicate with you, honest, um, of course. So um, that was really weird. I almost said you can't force someone to communicate with you honestly. So maybe your person is holding something back or not being honest about their feelings at this time and that's contributing to your confusion but um yeah there is a connection um you may get more communication in time but for now just do whatever you need to do whatever you can do to not feel like you're going crazy <laughs> okay so thank you everybody for watching take care and i will see you on wednesday on wednesday we'll do messages um from your person to you. So what do they really want to say, whether you're in no communication or actually in a relationship? Is there anything more they'd like to say? Um, anything that's going on with them that they'd like you to know? Anything they're having trouble saying? You know, whatever it is, we'll have a look and see. Okay, take care, bye.